The Shangri-La Resort is a five-star resort on Mactan Island in Cebu, Philippines. It's huge with over 500 rooms. It has a beautiful beachfront area, although it is man-made, and they've obviously spent a lot of money in landscaping it to look like this. It does set itself apart from the other resorts in Mactan, which have pretty mediocre beachfront areas, and it's probably the best beach you're gonna find on Mactan Island. Here you can just relax by the ocean, it's a very family friendly beach as well. If you don't want to laser by the beach, there's a couple of swimming pools I have. One of the pools has a kids friendly area as well. For golf lovers, there's a six hole pitch. Or for the family, there's mini golf. There's a tennis court. For kids, there's a games room. And for younger kids, there's also areas for them to play. If you want to relax and indulge yourself, there's a resort spa. Here's a sample of the spas they offer. While not cheap, they're second to none. They have a dive centre. Here you can learn to dive or do more advanced courses. You can also organise island hopping trips to nearby islands, parasailing, there's a glass bottom boat. For romantics, there's a picnic in the sky. There's helmet diving. There's pleasure yacht cruises. They can even organize fishing adventures. There's plenty of other water activities that you can also do. The Shangri-La also organizes shuttle services to the airport and also to the shopping malls in Cebu City, both the Ayala and SM. My favorite is Ayala Shopping Mall. There's heaps of shops here. And it's also worth checking out the terraces area it's a nice outdoor, multi-level dining area. Here you have plenty of options of different cuisines. There's also cafes and coffee shops. It's a popular place in Cebu for locals to hang out. SM is the other major shopping mall as well. If you need some cash, in the lobby of the Shangri-La, there's an ATM machine. Well, there are a couple of ATMs at the front of the resort. At the front of the resort, there's a souvenir shop and a couple of restaurants. If you want a taxi, the reception can organize that for you or you can hail them down from the front of the resort yourself. There's also jeepneys that pass by that you can catch. There are a couple of taxis that wait there. Those taxis actually charge you extra for their waiting time. From here, it's possible to walk to Mactan Shrine, one of the most popular tourist attractions on Mactan. This is the location of where Magellan was killed by Chief Lapu Lapu. Ferdinand Magellan, who, had, uh, who fought for a great fight with Lapu Lapu. Uh, it's one of Magellan's markers, so this is the exact, so that is that is the exact spot where Magellan died. Also in this area, they shoot to kill seafood restaurants. The restaurants are a bit touristy, so they're pricey. Getting back to the Shangri-La, in its lobby area, there's some upmarket shops you can buy stuff. There's also a convenience store as well as a tours and travel desk. The Tea of Spring is a Chinese restaurant. Kauri Cove and Waves is the oceanfront seafood restaurant. The Tides restaurant may look a bit different from in the video as they were renovating it just after I had filmed. This is where you have the buffet breakfast in the morning. If you book online, with sites like Agoda, normally you'll be given a choice whether you want the room with or without breakfast. I recommend taking it with a breakfast as it's one of the best buffet breakfasts you're going to get in Cebu. The choices are just huge and there's plenty to choose from. Western dishes, Asian dishes, fresh fruits, juices. It's almost an endless selection. The deluxe rooms are the leading rooms. Rooms start from about 12,000 peso but if you look online you can find cheaper rates like with Agoda. The rooms have been renovated so they're quite modern. Rooms come with free internet, cable TV, minibar and coffee and tea making facilities. The rooms come with either a sea view or garden view. Obviously the sea view are more expensive. The premier rooms offer a bit more space. The facilities are basically the same but they have a couch and table. The beds are nice and comfy. Bathrooms are good. The bathroom comes with a bathtub. The 
panoramic room comes with a little living area. The couch can turn into a bed as you can see in this video. It has a dining table. Then it has the main bedroom. As you can see, the views from this room are magnificent. The main room comes with a little wardrobe and a nice bathroom. The Ocean Club Room. This gives you access to the club lounge, which I'll show in a minute. The room's nicely furnished and everything's modern inside. The room's a good size. Comes with complimentary water and minibar, little couch and table. And again with a balcony with some great views. You can see the ocean and the gardens of the resort as well as the swimming pools. And the standard facilities, hair dryer and safe. Although I did find the safe a little bit small, I couldn't quite fit my laptop in there. The bathroom's nice and clean, with all your nice little amenities. The club rooms give you access to the Ocean Club Lounge. Here you can relax and have a drink. They also serve breakfast here. You have a choice of having the buffet breakfast here or downstairs at the Tides restaurant. I preferred to have it downstairs as you had a much larger selection of food, although it's a lot more crowded. The Shangri-La Resort is expensive, but if you're staying in Mactan, you'll find most of the luxury resorts are expensive. For me, this is the best resort you can find on Mactan Island, and it's my favourite resort to stay in Mactan. The rooms are comfortable and stylish, and as I said before, this is the best beach you're going to find on Mactan. If you're looking for a 5 star resort on Mac 10 Island, you can't get better than this. Overall, I rate the Shangri-La as excellent. For more details on this resort, including rates, if you're watching this on YouTube, please click on the link below the video. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, I'll catch you next time.